What's up guys? What's up guys? What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Lauren. If you're new here, welcome back to another edition of my Taylor Swift Tuesday. Taylor Swift Tuesday. Welcome back to Taylor Swift Tuesday. Taylor Swift Tuesday. <laughs> I'm back. Woo! Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Cute, right? <laughs> Hello USA Today team, my name is Lauren Lippman and let me tell you why I've already been doing this job for six years. <laughs> I cannot tell you how excited I am to be making this video application. I don't have a script. I'm just here to explain to you why I would be the absolute perfect Taylor Swift reporter. I have a background as an on-camera host from Denver, Colorado. I used to host my own travel show for Comcast and then I moved to Los Angeles in 2016 and started my YouTube channel. And I'm a full-time YouTube content creator and social media influencer. Becoming a Taylor Swift reporter was not the plan that I thought was gonna happen when I moved to Los Angeles. It's just what I stumbled into. My 16th video ended up being about Taylor Swift. It went semi-viral. I went from 300 subscribers to like 10,000. The Swifties descended upon my channel and they were like, make more Taylor Swift content. And I was like, okay, let's do that. So I created a weekly TV series on my YouTube channel called Taylor Swift Tuesdays and it aired for 88 weeks straight. I wrote, directed, shot, edited, all of the things, all myself. I am a one-man team here and Taylor Swift Tuesday led me to a lot of incredible things in my life. It's the reason that I have built an incredible Swifty audience of my own over the past several years. It led me to Taylor Nation sending me an email saying that Taylor Swift had watched my channel. She wanted to gain the rights to one of my YouTube videos in order to show on the Reputation World Stadium tour before every single tour stop around the world. What's with that bit? Don't call me that. Oh my God. Taylor Swift gained the rights to my YouTube video. I then got the opportunity to go backstage into the rep room to meet her, hug her, chat with her. It was the wildest, it was one of the wildest things that's ever happened to me in my entire life. I cannot tell you how exciting it was in 2018 to report on every single show the Reputation World Stadium Tour touched down on because I did that. And nothing would make me more excited than to continue my Taylor Swift concert tour reporting than to do it under an official news branch like USA Today. It's a literal dream of mine. In case you can't tell from this video, I am a bubbly extrovert. And while I do love this job that I've created for myself, I am going crazy talking to myself. I cannot tell you how excited I am at the prospect of working with a professional team. I feel like I have way more to offer as an on-camera host, as a Taylor Swift reporter. I pride myself on knowing all of the ins and outs before TikTok came around. I have built an incredible Swifty audience of my own over the past several years. There's with YouTube being my biggest at 53,000 followers. My Instagram has 16,000 and my Twitter has 10,000. And my Twitter is basically all Taylor Swift. <laughs> Instagram is more me, lifestyle, everything like that, and YouTube is basically everything you need to know about Taylor Swift. I have been featured and interviewed by Elle magazine talking about the Taylor Swift fandom, the ins and outs of it. I've also been asked to appear on multiple podcasts as the Taylor Swift expert because that is what I'm known for online. My audience loves to hear me talk about Taylor Swift so much so that they tagged Spencer Pratt of the Hills enough times on Twitter so that he appeared on my channel for an exclusive interview, Taylor Swift Tuesdays. I'm in a very special place right now, and I've got a very special guest, and it's all because of you guys. Ah! Hey, it's Spencer Pratt! The leader of the Swift <laughs> underground gang. This is a job that I found out about because five different strangers on the internet DM'd it to me. I'm sure you're going to get hundreds if not thousands of applications. I wanted to make sure that I got it in today. Taylor is walking the red carpet right this second as we speak. So while I'm filming this, I am also live tweeting the fact that she's wearing a black dress on the red carpet, which we don't believe she's ever done before, and it's giving Reputation Taylor's version. However, we don't think that she's going to mix album cycles with the other. Obviously, we just got the 1989 Taylor's version announcement at the LA SoFi show that I was at. It was insane. It was so much fun. I really, really want to show you what I can do. If you want to know about why Taylor Swift was sitting on the staircase during the Lover 
Cooper era with her hand on the seventh staircase down and we all played into that theory thinking it was a countdown. I mean, if you know the phrase, there were five holes in the fence, then you know the ins and outs of the Swifty fandom. I have so many scripts that I have written that have gone unfinished, uncreated, that I'm, I would love to work with a team on. I am friends with so many online Swifty influencers. The fact that that's even a phrase is crazy to me. It's insane how many people Taylor Swift has employed indirectly. But the part of the Swifty fandom that I love so much is just deeply ingrained in this connection that you really have to you really have to just be in it to know. The person who painted this for me and sent this to me is in Australia. He is a Swifty in Australia and he was part of the crew of people. When Reputation World Stadium tour was happening, there was a girl who could not make the tour. She was supposed to go, but she couldn't make it happen. Swifties around the world started a GoFundMe to purchase airfare for this online Swifty and a plus one to travel, fly from Australia to Japan, hotel, extra money for merch, food, and they all did it. And she got to go to the Reputation World Stadium tour in Japan because of the kindness of online Swifty strangers. There are so many stories like this. Like I know of countless insane things that Swifties around the world have done for each other in the name of loving Taylor Swift and my Eras Tour bracelets. I am also not above some healthy criticism. There are a lot of things that have been happening in the more recent years. There's been a lot of people talking about capitalism, Taylor's version, and I do have a lot of things to say about that when it comes to her having four different versions of a same album and different digital downloads, but hey, you know what? Get that bad girl. We are so excited that Taylor Swift has been able to sell records in this digital streaming world. She's already on par with the Beatles, Michael Jackson, Cher, Madonna. It's, it's insane that we are actually living and breathing during the time when Taylor Swift is on her era's tour. I hope that you can gauge my excitement for the job that I already have and the job that I would love to have under the USA Today team. I'm tired of working all by myself. I am an extrovert. I want to be in a collaborative team environment. I have my own car. I have my passport. I love to travel. I'm very familiar with in-ear microphones, lav mics. I can read a teleprompter. I have my own teleprompter as well. The fact that this is such a niche job description that I weirdly 100% fit all of the qualifications Qualifications, and I hope that my excitement for this position to hopefully meet with one of you, a ton of you on Zoom or in person, just to tell you how much I would excel in this job. I would bring so much light and insight and knowledge and fun to this role. I feel like I can say with 100% confidence that there is no other person sending you a video application right now that can tell you all of the decodings of Taylor Swift lyrics like I have, that was actually my most viral video, is look what you made me do, all of the clues that you missed in it. From everything from Taylor Swift popping out of the grave, Niles Schoberg, the summer of Hiddle Swift, Calvin Harris, this is what you came for, all the behind the scenes. I have a really big love for this fandom because this fandom is the reason that I have a job. I fully believe that the reason that I was put on planet Earth is to be on camera, is to connect with people, is to share stories and to make people happy and entertain. That's literally at the top of my Patreon. My Patreon, which is a group of Swifties, by the way. <laughs> this job entails all of my worlds colliding. I hope that you can feel my sincere excitement. Take a look at my YouTube channel. Get lost in all of the fun content that I have made over the last eight years. I need you to know how serious I am about this position. I know that this video application is a little bit more relaxed, but I 100% have the ability to be formal, be professional, read from a teleprompter, write my own scripts, ad lib a little bit here and there. I think that this job is exactly what I need and I think that I am exactly what you need. <laughs> I'm confident that I can do this job very well 
I've already been doing it, and I believe that I could bring a lot of magic and personality to this role. There are so many social media platforms to keep straight, but I have been doing it for long enough now that I would love, love, love to do it for you. Whenever Taylor Swift drops a new album, hundreds and thousands of people DM me, <laughs> and they want to know when I'm going live and if I'm gonna have a live stream, because that's kind of a tradition. It's wild to even say that. I'm incredibly flattered and honored, but it's, it's really cool, this connection that I've been able to build with so many people. Again, I am a micro-influencer. I don't have millions of followers, but my small micro-influencer community is small but mighty. We can move mountains, and right now they are all blowing up my DMs, telling me how much I need to apply for this job. So I hope that you can see how excited I am. <laughs> the year that, that 15 was dropped, I was 15. The year that 22 came out, me and my friends all turned 22. It feels like I've grown up with her, and I think that is why everyone just feels like Taylor Swift is their big sister, their relatable friend. It's her lyrics, it's her songwriting, and I think that to me is the reason that she is next level. The fact that Speak Now is an album that is 100% entirely written by herself. Taylor Swift wanted to write Speak Now all by herself because people told her that she couldn't do it. In country music, you need a ghostwriter. You need to do that. So 18, 19 year old Taylor Swift went and wrote Speak Now all by herself to prove that she could do it. And that is the genius of Taylor Swift. The fact that there are college courses on Taylor Swift. There are people in Japan making billboards just to show their support for Taylor's birthday. It's an amazing fandom to be a part of, and if you are only aware of just the toxic headlines that you might see on TMZ, let me help you. Let me show you the Swifty way. I would love to go through all of the ins and outs with the USA Today team, and I really believe that I could bring a ton of fun, Swifty knowledge and insight and just my personality to the USA Today team as your Taylor Swift reporter. I really believe that I am the perfect person for this job and I have countless amount of links and Taylor Swift Tuesday reporting to send you. I just feel like I have so much more to say but I don't want this video to turn out to be 30 minutes. I just wanted you to feel my excitement and I hope that you know that I'm totally serious, 100% a professional. I really do believe that there is no other job in this world that I could perform better than this one. Being your Taylor Swift reporter, Lauren Lippman reporting for USA Today as your Swifty expert. That was good, wasn't it? Thank you so much for your consideration. Please feel free to email me at the email you see on the screen or Call me at the phone number, shoot me a text, leave me a voicemail, check out my YouTube channel, call me, beat me if you want to reach me. I cannot wait to learn more about this position. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to speak with you very soon. Bye!